Hey guys, it's your girl, Jacko. Jacko, 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 Jacko,
so far this feels really good. It does feel more like a moisturizer than it is a primer though. It soaks right into the skin. I don't see any SPF on the website, but it does say it has anti-redness and blurring properties. You know what I should've did? I should've tweezed my eyebrows and then tested it, but my bad, y'all. I wasn't thinking that far ahead. Freaking Irma, she be talking too much. Irma would just be chatting. Irma just be distracting me all the time. I don't, but girl, can you just stop? I keep touching my face, because I really like the way that cream feels. So the next thing I'm going to use is, ooh, I'm really stressed because this brand is so like, use your hands, use your hands. You guys know I like powdering my skin a little bit before I do foundation and complexion stuff. So I'm gonna move on to the Wowder. It's not a powder. It's supposed to set the makeup, blur the skin, minimize shine. I actually got to talk about this product when it first launched. They hit me up and they're like, we want to work with Jackie Ball, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, what y'all want? What you got, girl? Okay, I never tried it, so you're gonna have to send it, you know, slide it that way first before I can just, because no, we need to like, we have a thorough pre-screening process before we get paid to talk about products. Believe it or not, not all money is good money, and I actually do try things out before I recommend them, okay? For them to have come out with three colors, I was really surprised at the fact that they put more time and effort into the two dark colors and they have one that was like a lighter translucent. Dark Deep, I feel, is kind of the more middle shade, universal. I can't even call this yellow because it's literally just like a translucent beige. And then the darkest color they have is Rich. Now, when you look at this powder, you don't think it's as dark as it actually is. But let me tell you what I did, okay? I thought it was cute and I was gonna be using this as an all over face powder underneath my makeup. And then I stuck my damp beauty blender sponge and I don't know what it is about this powder when it gets wet, but it got dark. It got really dark. And I was like, oh, that's not my skin color. So just be cautious with that. Do like a test on your neck or on your chest first, especially if you're using this with a wet sponge i think if you use it with a brush you're fine the water retails for 22 dollars you get like a cute little blending brush with it and i'm just gonna tap a little bit of that into my skin because i do feel like the moisturizer added a healthy amount of glow not in a bad way because you know she does love a little bit of the natural glow this powder does 100 percent mattify it definitely does exactly what it says it does as you can see that took away a pretty decent amount of shine so this next product kind of scares me i feel like they advertise this like a foundation but it's more like a tinted moisturizer and i'm cool with a tinted moisturizer i just need to go into it knowing like i need to go into the relationship saying that you are what you say you are you know we can't be bamboozling people in 2018 that's how you don't get socked in the face it is very watery and i'm using the two i believe darker colors Deep, yeah, okay, so I'm using deep and rich. Deep, I don't know, deep looks very deep though. I definitely wouldn't call that a deep. And then here's rich, and I almost kind of feel like I'm somewhere in between these two. With that being said, I definitely don't feel like this product serves the needs of people of color very well in general because there's only five shades total, which is a little, mm, a little bleak, you know, like, come on guys. What's, what's, what's good, what's going on? This is supposed to be a tint. Definitely think there's room for a color darker than rich and a color in, or even two colors in between these because this is a pretty significant jump. I'm watching the demo on the website. Okay, see that works for her because she's perfect. I'm not, I'll look like that, all right? I'm pouring the product on me and then I'm gonna rub it in. Hopefully deep is not too light. You do have to shake this up really well because like I said, it's very watery. And it also claims to be breathable, ultra thin, which we know, we've already discussed that one. This is not enough not beat for me, but you know what? I'm gonna have an open mind and an open heart and an open wig. I'm scared! Let's blend this in. Oh, oh, where did it go? <laughs> where, where, did it, where did it go, sis? I don't know where it went. Why would I pay $26 for clear balm? It does feel nice, but I'm gonna need about 10 more layers. The drip applicator is not very forgiving, or I'm sorry, it is very forgiving. Like it doesn't just squirt out. So here's layer number two. I'm gonna add some of the darker color there. Huh, it's looking a little pink. Um, okay, well, you know, we already put it on, so. I have to remember that these are tense, so they're not as much coverage as I anticipated. Definitely, like, not here for the color between rich and deep, because I feel like deep was too
too light and Rich was like too dark. And now the two of them look like salmon. Oh, wow, somebody clocked out early. Excuse me. Get back in line, Mercedes. This is not, no. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of louder in the color Rich. Reach around like the perimeter of my face. I feel like that looks better already. And there's absolutely no coverage in this product. So if your concerns are blemishes, acne, whatever, you're not gonna be able to seek refuge in this product. I like the idea of it, but the colors were just not, were not working. Okay, so already I do feel like the Wowder is adding a bit more brown to my skin. I would wear a product like this if it had SPF, but the fact that it's so sheer and it doesn't even have SPF, a product like this for me is a little pointless unless, unless I was shooting with it and I needed something that didn't have SPF but let my skin show through from within, you know, like that your skin but better. I like the idea of it. Okay, next we're gonna conceal. These concealers look interesting. This is their Flex Concealer. Again, five shades. They kind of go for like one pale, one light, one medium, one dark, one deep dark. I think they've got one more for like one more darker if they want to be, if they really want to be like a true ratio. So the two colors that I have are the darkest. I have Rich, which is number 50. And then I also have Deep, which is number 40, the two darkest. They retail for $18. So not bad. I would pay $18 for a concealer if I really liked it. It says it has elastic micro waxes that move with your face instead of caking on top of it. What if I don't want you to move? Now, when I put you there, I want you to stay your butt down. I didn't ask for that, Glossier. Who asked for that? Deep is just too light to be my color, and then Rich is just too dark to be my color. I'm somewhere in, I'm, what about me, Glossier? I'm somewhere in between here, okay? So I, I feel like I'm somewhere in between, so I'm just gonna use both. So first I'm gonna use Rich, and hopefully that, that oh, shit. It's a little shadowy compared to my skin tone, but it's balmy, so I think I can blend it out. Plus, once I add deep on top, I think it'll even out. It feels very balmy. I don't want to say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say a little on the greasy side, but hydrating, hydrating, Hy it's hydrating. That's what it is. Definitely not unflatteringly greasy. Ooh, that looks kind of pretty once I blend it out like into my skin to cover up the skin tint that didn't match me. I definitely wouldn't consider this a flexible concealer though. They call this a flexible concealer. When I think of flexible, I think of buildable and this to me is definitely not buildable. It looks like my skin and that's it. But I kind of like it though. I don't know what's going on with me today. I know y'all probably don't think I'm lying because God forbid I like something. can't sometimes with the comments. Let's start getting fancy and put a little bit of, what's this called? Rich, deep, deep, okay. Deep is going down in the middle. A little bit of rich, a little bit of deep. Started with some ash and went on to brown. I'm kind of like now putting this all over my face. Like I almost kind of feel like I like the coverage of this a little bit more than skin tint. The skin tint was cute though. Skin tint, she tried, she, 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 there was an attempt made. I know you guys are probably not gonna believe me, but honestly, I'm a little, I'm a little shook. I'm looking at my skin. I'm not looking at the makeup, I'm looking at my skin. And I feel like my skin looks really good. Now, when I tried milk makeup, I wanted to see this. Like, this is what I wanna see when I think of your skin the better. Despite the color discrepancies, I'm definitely not 100% happy with the color. I think I made it workable, but I, I really like the way my skin looks. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my Wowder. Maybe I shouldn't do that. I just keep looking at myself in the monitor and I feel like, no, I'm not wearing any makeup. Who told you I was wearing makeup? Oh, you're so rude. I just got a chemical peel. Stop, I drink water and I'm out of my business. That's what this look is giving me. Like, I, honestly, I don't even wanna put powder on. I, I swear to you, I don't. And that is so unlike me too. Do you hear what I just said? I don't wanna put powder on, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> With the brush, I'm not gonna do it with the sponge because I feel like the sponge is what you do when you want more glam. I'm just gonna take the brush and just sweep it right underneath my eye, right where I need it. Maybe a little bit right here where the sun shines the brightest a little bit. I really like this look. 
This is weird. This is so unlike me. Well, it is kind of like me because I do really like my skin. Believe it or not, this is the canvas that you get when I'm not on camera and all glammed up and all that. This is a step up from that. I'm gonna add a little bit more rich around the perimeter of my face as not really a contour, but just to warm up the skin a little bit more. See, because right here, you can see where it goes from like more pink to more warm. I feel like these cloud paints are like their most talked about product. Everybody uses these. I feel like I see these everywhere. Beyonce was wearing them. Beyonce was wearing them at the Grammys this year. SZA was wearing them. That might've been paid product placement though. You know, just, just between me and you, I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm just, I'm just guessing, just speculation. When I tell you I love liquid blushes, I mean, girl, I love these liquid blushes. These are right up my alley, okay? And there's four total. I'm not a fan of this packaging, however, because I feel like these are not as forgiving as the packaging of the skin tints. These tend to spill. So here's Puff. It's a pretty light, powdery pink. This might be a little intimidating for people who don't like blush or for people who aren't comfortable with the liquid blush. Miss Puff, I'm gonna put you on the side for now. Even though you cool with me, I don't got no beef with you, Puff, but I can see why, you know, the homies might not want to like kick it with you yet. Like they're still trying to get you to know you. I'm, she's down here, I'm talking to her. This one is Haze. I feel like Haze is gonna be every chocolate girl's best friend girl. Cause let me tell you something. She's a beautiful, nice, rich, raspberry color. Yes, girl. And she blends out nice and sheer. That is a sunny color. Beam is a lighter, more fresh coral color. It's spilling. So this packaging, yo, you need to make it so it doesn't escape so much, so easily or make the formula thicker or something. Girl, I'm not trying to waste money. I'm, try I'm not trying to waste product in this economy. Are you kidding me? So these can get quite messy. Just be careful of that. Dust is the color I really had my eye on, but I'm hoping it's not too, ooh, dusk. Oh, that's nice, okay. So this is like a taupey coral color. And if I need to mix them up, then I'll mix them up. I'll add a little bit more of something else. We'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll. Can't knock it till you try it, you know? Just one drop of dusk. Okay, I already feel like this is gonna blend right into my skin tone. I was going for like that nude corally color, but I feel like it's a little too sheer. Let's try a little bit of um, haze. If I didn't want to wear pink, like this is like a berry color and I didn't want that, but yeah, this is almost like a purple and it's, Nice. I think I like it mixed in with dust because it sheared it out a little bit more. Ooh! Do you see that on camera? No, but do you see it though? I feel like Naomi Campbell in the 80s. Ah, there's a John Galliano casting at four guys. Can I borrow your cloud paint? You know, that's what I feel like right now. I just feel like I live in Manhattan, Soho. This color is really pretty and really fresh. I feel like whenever I wear sheer berry colors like this, they, they mature me a little, like, almost like something my mom would wear, you know? I need to see, I need to see it on like a full face glam. If I see colors like these on my bare skin, I just don't like the way they look at all. Not in lipsticks, not in eyeshadows, not in cheek colors at all. But this is something. I like this. And by the way, these are 18 Zoolas. I would happily pay 18 Zoolas for these, but I do wish they had a little, a little bit more pigment in them. Just like a little, little, little bit, a little, a little, a little, just a little, you know, just a little bit. After the ashen pink massacre of my face earlier, I do feel like this kind of brought it all together, warmed up my skin, made up for it, made me look more of like a likable person, you know? You guys, I just keep looking at the monitor because I feel like my skin looks so good. <laughs> I'm never leaving the house without makeup anymore. Nope, y'all heifers ain't gonna know. Y'all y'all not gonna be, who gonna check me? Who gonna check me? It's gonna be full face of Glossier and everybody gonna know. Mind your business, okay? Drink your water, take your vitamins, mind your business, thank you. These are their boy brow. Isn't that a MAC product? I could have sworn there was a boy brow from Mac. Somebody called a trademark lawyer, okay? Never mind, you didn't hear from me. I ain't snitching on nobody. You did not hear that from me, never mind. I have the black one and I have clear. It's supposed to be like a, oh, there's four total. I'll try black and if it's too dark or too harsh, then I will deactivate my YouTube channel. See you in 2025, brethren. Oh, this is like a grayish black. I don't know if I, about that girl. That's a, there's a lot happening. Well, it does fill in a little because there is a little bit of color there. I would not pick black. I feel like black is a little harsh. I would like to see your 
darkest, like not quite black, but a step up from it, brown, I need a 1B and a brown pencil. It actually doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad, I think, because I'm wearing the Glossier face, but with my regular makeup routine, I'm definitely not checking for that. I don't, however, like the teeny tiny applicator of this. I just feel like it's not really working for my brows, so I'm gonna comb this through. There's my brows, what do you think? Ah! You know what, call me crazy, but this is giving me like a little bit of K-beauty. Maybe it's the cheeks. I just feel so fresh, so glowy. The brows need a promotion. They're not there yet. But as far oh, just... I think it looks good. I think it looks, do you like it? I, I think it looks really pretty good. <laughs> Let's move on to the Halo Scopes. They're like stick highlighters. One thing that I just learned based on the website is this is supposed to be skincare infused makeup which is really, I think, kind of interesting. That's not really something we typically see in a highlighter. As you can see, it's got the highlight around it, and then there's like a clear bomb in the middle. So that, I guess, is supposed to be vitamin infused and like good for you and all that good stuff. And they say it's never glittery, no glitter, whatsoever, ever. This is in the color Topaz. Topaz is cute. Topaz is usually what I go for. It's just like your typical standard gold but a little bit more sheer because of that bomb. This is quartz and quartz is like a white bomb. I wouldn't wear that. That's just way too silvery, but it's a pretty color. And this last one is Moonstone and Moonstone is giving you some duochrome honey. So she is giving you some purple. It's got a little bit of blue tones in there. Still a little silvery. So for now, I'm just gonna stick with Topaz. Stop trying to clock out early, y'all. Stay in place. That's the thing about looks like these. They don't last all day. Go ahead and film your little morning routine tutorial with this look and then after that, wash it off, okay? So I'm just, ooh, that's pretty. That is pretty. And I feel like because there's a balm in there, it makes it a bit easier to apply. That's pretty, I really like that. I really thought that this was gonna be like Vaseline in a jar with these products, but I'm kind of living. Okay, I'm also gonna put a little bit on the chin because why not? Also right above my eyebrow, just right there. Look at my skin, oh my God. No, no, oh no, no. Ignore my brows, okay, I'm not that bad. Just look, 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 look at this. I don't look that good without makeup. I look good without makeup, but not like this. They do have some lipsticks. They have a clear gloss. Leo is my color. Ooh, that's too sheer, girl. That should have been my foundation color right there. I was watching one of their little demo videos on their Instagram page, and I think the girl wore zip. It looks red on me, though. It looked more coral on the girl that wore it, but I'm gonna just go for it anyway. Really have to like, layer and layer and layer and layer because it's so sheer. I do like this color. I just personally would not pay $18 for something that barely shows up. This is what I think mineral makeup feels like. It says it has blue agave and safflower oil and triple coated mica and C10-18 triglyceride. Nobody knows what that means. It's actually really pretty on camera. I do like that. How you doing? Are you single? Yeah, yeah, the sapphire oil, come taste it. I am gonna finish it off with the gloves. 14 dollars, they're really trying it. You're gonna go to the beauty supply store, get the little roller balls that smell like Kool-Aid, and we'll have your lips popping. It probably will be dripping because it's so oily, but that's cool, That's that was the look back then. That's a good gloss. So that is the final look. I'm slightly shookington, I'm not even gonna front. It's definitely not my style whatsoever. It's definitely not my everyday face. It's just not, I'm just being honest. But I really like the way my skin looks. Like I literally just kept looking over in the monitor like, wow. I know y'all are not gonna believe me. I know y'all aren't. Cause I'm apparently not allowed to change your mind and have opinions ever, ever. It's definitely very different from what you're used to seeing on me, but I'm just, like I said, I'm just, I'm looking at my skin. I'm not really looking at the makeup. I feel like if I wanted to trick someone into thinking I had on makeup, but I really don't. <laughs> Jokes on you, partner. This would be like the look I'd go for. Let's see how it looks with the center part, though. Let's see how. Oh! Am I giving you a little Tracy Ellis Ross? That's what I'm trying to do, girl. Just a little bit. This definitely is not a brand or a line for everyone. Right off the bat, I will just say that. Um, some of the products that are a little bit more universal are definitely the Wowder and the lip products, but some of the complexion products, the colors were like eh. 
Eh. If the colors do work for you, and if you don't mind splurging a little bit on a product that you're really not going to see much of, then I would say go for it. If you're not one of those people, then don't. Obviously somebody's buying it because this brand seems to be doing really well. I feel like every minute I'm hearing Glossier, 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 it seems to be like the new trendy brand. They're obviously speaking to a culture of people who like looking like themselves. This is not long wearing though, so this would not work for me because I have oily combination skin. And I could totally, totally see myself having to carry my powder around and doing this all day. And guess what? I wear five layers of cake, so I don't have to do that. Overall, I am pretty happy with the execution of the products. I just don't really feel like most of them are for me. Sometimes it is nice to just use five products and go. You know, like I, it's, it's nice to be that girl for once. Hopefully you guys found this review slash demo helpful. I really had so much fun. I love doing full face. I really hope I see you on the next tutorial. Please keep the requests for full face products coming. And we got Bobby Brown coming and a couple more that I'm not gonna tell you just yet. Maybe I'll just put my milk makeup review here because they're kind of like the same vibe, right? Yeah, watch this. It's right here. You like the tutorial, you probably really like the no makeup review because I kind of went in. Glossier, while you at it, we need you to add more colors, okay? For the golden girls, you know, for the girls who like the glamour. Throw some NC50 in there, how about that? Is there such thing as an NC80? Whatever it is, make it up, okay? Shout out to the people, the people, people.